Let me take you through the front pages of our local dailies. Let me start with the Star newspaper. What do we have on the front page of the Star? Ruto's MP numbers threat to Uhuru Raila. Ruto's MP numbers threat to Uhuru and Raila. Supermajority could give President free hand to engineer key constitutional changes. That is also on the front page of the Star newspaper. Kenya Kwanzaa just needs 15 MPs to get the magical two-thirds majority in Parliament. We have that on the front page of the Star newspaper. Again, on the front page, police arrest four university students over robbery claims in Nairobi estate. Detectives are investigating four university students believed to be part of a gang behind incidents of violent robberies in Ruai, Juja, and Kayole, Nairobi, and surrounding areas. Um, big guns continue to snub Azimio Laumoja People's Baraza regional meetings. And uh, big names, that is big guns, continue to snap people's barazas organized by Azimio La Umoja, leader Rai Lodinga, even as the opposition luminaries downplay rifts in its ranks. What is in the port of Azimio? And finally, on the front page, Kenya Kwanzaa's budget options as experts warn against expenditure cut. The government can raise up to, uh, can raise 30 billion shillings every year by selling most of the 248 state corporations. Parliamentary budget experts say that the exchequer could raise could realize rather between 0.5% and 1% of the country's GDP. Again, experts say that uh, the sale could work better than cutting one expenditure. That is of the front page of the star. Very quickly, on the standard Ruto on path to absolute power, more or less the same on what we have on the star. Ruto on path to absolute power. President William Ruto's plan to control parliament is evident with, with moves to co-opt members from the opposition. With the House resuming tomorrow and now with the supermajority, it will be a walk in the park for the president on passing legislation and blocking oversight.